Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Kimbo here and it's time for an epic, epic Bakugan unboxing. So we've got this package right here. This box courtesy of Target.com. And oh shoot. Okay. It's, it's this boy. It's this boy. And oh, there's a sticker on the front. First of all, like there's, there's a sticker on the front. We're going to take that off and see that what we've got is this man it is the epic bakugan legends bakugan maxotar x zentar but with this pretty sure this is a diamond yeah uh yeah it is so it's diamond maxotar x zentar so even with this wave of fusions that they put out got a diamond with it man so there's been like two waves of these fusions um, with each one, there's been, like, uh, a diamond, pretty sure, I think. So, like, how it's been with previous waves. Like, one Bakugan being a diamond, and then, like, an elemental, and, you know, like, the regular Bakugan and such. Even with, like, the, how they've done the fusions. There's at least one element. I don't know if there's another one. But, um, yeah, the elemental being, like, Nilius Enoch, you know, because you've seen the pattern on it and everything. But, yeah, dude. Diamond Maxitar X Zentar. Even having this in the collection, dude. It's always just crazy opening diamonds and seeing the artwork yeah all that clear with it and such it looks so sick like the the warrior body of zentar at the bottom and then you got the big jacked up arms of uh you know a max is hard right there so looking looking like a centaur completely you know reminds me of a freaking lionel from <laughs> from breath of the wild or something and i'm excited for tears of the kingdom y'all already know but uh yeah that artwork looking so dope gotta check out the back Diamond Maxitar X Zentar. Um, oh, it has the yeah, an Evo card with it. Also, um, the original character card and then the gate card. For this, I really wish, like, for these Diamond Evos, they just put in a play set of three. That way you could use them right away. But obviously, that's not going to happen at this point. So, you know, I have to either do proxies or hopefully you get lucky and just find extras or something. But yeah, odds are proxies, um, you know, for the, for the sake of like this. Because otherwise, you'd have to get like three copies of like diamond max of the heart zentar you have to find three of these in order to get a play set for just one of them but yeah that's one of the things that makes me sad i wish that for the geogon and the uh and for the bakugan themselves like the diamond evos like they put in a play set of three of them uh because i'd love to use so many of them i might just start doing profiles and even if i have only one copy of them just throw in that one copy and just work with it you know I'm used. To, I'm one that's used to having at least like two copies, and maybe sometimes three if it's good enough. But you know, with how the TCG is and everything, and showing how it's been basically scrapped, uh, just going with what we got. You know, that's all we can do. But y'all already know I'm making profiles until the end, literally until I have nothing left to, uh, no profiles that I could actually do, and no cards left to work with. You know, y'all already know. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. I know long intro. Just wanted to talk about stuff too. Y'all know I like. Being social and conversing with y'all with these and just giving my honest thoughts so yeah i got so much to pick up in here man and i gotta get another case of like another case for my background it's crazy like just collecting that much but y'all already know like profiles are coming big time i know i say that but like i have a lot planned for may especially being caught up with a lot of things i wanted to do with this month this channel anniversary month which speaking of which two days from now is my channel anniversary y'all 11 years it'll be um since i put out my first vid i know i've got the one where i did like the trick shot for go shoot dude and i made that one like public to show off the first one i ever put out but like i didn't technically call that like my first video the first one's like the the baku bay hunting from all those years ago that's when it fully started april 29th man and <laughs> we're two days away it's insane man two days away from 11 years doing this dude but Anyways, we got the card art here. Fel <laughs> Felcron Punch! About to square up with Talon, bruh. Or no, it's got Talon behind him, like, backing him up. Yeah, but it's about to put in that work. But 400, 100, 500, 300, 0, 200. Biggest boost for Ventus with this. And if your Bakugan gets a bonus on a shield, it'll get it if it lands on this gate card. So, yeah. It looks like there's, like, a matrix behind it. Like, you know, in the background right there behind them both. But, yeah. In general, epic card art right there but now it's time to get into the bakugan diamond maxotar x zentar man it's funny because this was actually a diamond that they did put out before um but yeah put out in a three pack but 
in general is still so, so sick, man. This thing looks so phenomenal. All the clear with it. You got the green up there. Um, you know, like the very shiny green paint right there. Got it under Max Attar's jaw as well. Uh, the white right there on the hooves. Got the gold right there around the shoulder blades. Got the arms right there. It's got like some sky blue with it as well as a little bit of white. It looks awesome. And then the same sky, the same shiny sky blue uh, on the feet, on the Zentar feet. And then you got the white right there. Just looking so cool, man. So then you see Chaos, Ventus, both with it. And... B power on it, 300. So it's getting up to 950 right away. I mean, Zentar was always known for having like more damage, like going more on the damage route, you know, big time. But with this, it's definitely going to be beefed up, I think. But got to see just how so uh, they're going to do it. But yeah, in general, looks really, really awesome. But there we go. And then for the top part, put those in, head down, and then it's like the Fangzor type treatment. You just push them together. And there it is. So Diamond Maxitar X Zentar in the closed ball form, man. Having that green, sky blue right there, the gold, the white, uh, all making this clear plastic pop that much more, man. Just an awesome, really, really beautifully designed diamond. And it looks really, really great, dude. Definitely honored to have this bad boy in the collection and... You already know, like like I said enough. Profiles, profiles, profiles. I've been itching to make profiles for the longest time, and now getting things caught up and such, getting to the point where I can crank profiles in a major way. You're gonna be seeing a lot of background content in May. I'm just telling y'all that right away. Still gonna be Beyblade content for anybody who's a fan of Beyblade, but you know, like I'm be I'm gonna be doing a lot of deck profiles in May. I'm just saying that right now. It's gonna be a lot of background stuff. So gear up, get ready, stay tuned and all that good stuff but uh yeah man so we've got the artwork right here so ventus maxitar and zentar obviously ventus being the the first faction for it and then it becomes chaos and then the evo with it but um 306 flame fist and shield so technically what 706 and get up to or in this case 550 and 9 or if you just go with the plus 6 312 big time damage with it so damage deck setup beast like you already know like seeing zentar with it not surprised but it's got a built-in reroll and if you land on a flame fist it'll get its fusion so with that um oh it switches so flame fist but then the shield so if you pick up both of them that's where it gets the big time boost but on the flame fist so that's it it does focus on the damage so with that flame fist it'll be up to like well it's 409 you can have it up to 415 insane damage right away you can have 15 damage so you set it up in a damage deck with this monster absolute beast but with this you can't have the darkest so the darkest rage is out of there so you have to literally use might of Cindius or mac in order to get that build up for it with a damage deck which will make it tough to use, but that 15 damage, and that's the balance with it, but you can only use Midas Cindius or Mac to get that build up because the Dark Rage is a Pyre's Darkest card. So with that, yeah, wouldn't be able to use it in a deck with that. So you got to focus on Might, Might Mac with it, Mac Mock, um, totally, and not have the Darkest Rage. But still, 416 you can get up to, but if you manage to get the shield with it too, that will put it up to 1200 1209 so breaking a thousand having some serious damage with it yeah man it's all about how you want to set it up and everything and you can always have like a nanogon like the like the nanogon type of approach with it or maybe like you know some of them it's like you can add a core so if you get the right build up with it maybe get that build up to where you send it out next like if you already have it out like it's it's this is an interesting case like i said like big time you want to focus on the damage deck but then that shield um you gotta do like some core manipulation to help out get that bonus because you need a flame fist in order to have it switch but then you need a shield in order to get this bonus so you technically need both cores you have to hope you double core if you double core and get both effects then that's wild dude that'll be some insane power with it for sure but that's the balance with it man a bakugan that could be an absolute monster powerhouse if you set it up the right way but also, like, the balance with it. It's a little tougher to set up, but you can still definitely work with it. And it looks so cool, man. Maxitar, Zentar, that artwork looking badass. And then you got the Evo. Ooh, four cost for Diamond Maxitar X Zentar, which I wish there were three copies of this. Damn it. But 810. Laying on the shield, plus 800. So that's 2,000. Yeah, 1,600 plus the 400 from it. 2,010 they can get up to, man. 
So big time power with it, some serious damage with it as well. And if you have the Flame Fist, even more power, even more so. And just so awesome, dude. Like I said, I wish they would have put in a full play set for these. But it is what it is at this point, you know. But y'all know I'm be using, be using a lot of these Bakugan for sure. Like, stay tuned for profiles, man. I got a lot of ideas cooking up in here. And it's about seeing what works with what. Because how diverse this game is, man. But anyways, time to get into the opening action for Diamond Maxitar X Zentar. Three, two, one. Hey, and got it right away. First roll. Arms out, legs out and everything. Looking so sick. Clear plastic diamond gem freaking fusion Bakugan. Looking so awesome, man. Maxitar Zentar. Such an awesome design, man. It's just awesome seeing them pay homage to even like the fusions and beefing up some of them and making it where fusion force cards like the fusion cards, the fusion boosting cards, definitely more usable with these powered up fusions, man. It's awesome to see. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this review on this absolutely epic Bakugan Legends Diamond Maxotar X Zentar, man. So, so cool. And yeah, I actually found this a diamond Bakugan on target site so it's wild dude uh it's crazy seen this thing go for pretty wild prices online but also like got it for the retail price and that's really really wild man especially finding online for retail goodness but hope you all enjoyed if you did be sure to slice that like button down below let me know how i did if you're new to my channel definitely be sure to subscribe for some epic content because i upload daily and if you haven't already be sure to ring that bell by my channel name to be notified whenever i upload a video so yeah guys till next time it is your boy kimbo signing off see you guys later thanks so much for watching till then stay awesome and bakugan brawl i'm about to here